Jacking Systems Hydraulic Jacking Systems Augusta MSC Hydraulic Jacking Systems are of a positive engagement type, using double-acting hydraulic cylinders. The systems, based on the pin-in-the-hole principle, operate on smooth circular legs which minimize wave, wind and current forces both in elevated, transit and installation conditions with their beneficial hydrodynamic and aerodynamic characteristics. The circular leg guides in the Hull and Jack House ensure proper guidance of the legs with hardly any wear. For protection against mechanical damage and environmental hazards the jacking system is enclosed inside a jack house. The robust single acting, step by step, systems are used for straightforward applications. Standard operations whereby lifting speed is not a number one priority but reliability and low cost, is. The system design is arranged such that in case of a defect the jacking operations can be continued at reduced speed. The Gusto MSC hydraulic jacking systems offer the following characteristics. Operational, fast lifting capability, intelligent redundancy, robust, hardly anywhere, automation, easy and low maintenance. The picture on this page shows a typical control panel of a hydraulic cylinder jacking system with working and holding pins. With the four levers one can operate the four legs individually. The levers have seven positions to switch the PLC's operated jacking system. This picture shows us three complete hydraulic cylinder jacking systems. Each unit has a set of three holding pins on the top of the unit. And three working pins at the bottom side of the unit which are fixed under an angle of 120 degrees. Each unit contains six hydraulic cylinders to do deliver the jacking stroke. On the top of each cylinder you see two threaded ends. This image shows us the inner side of one set of cylinders of a hydraulic cylinder jacking unit. A set of rubber block pads. And a set of holding pins and a couple of hydraulic cylinders to jack the rig. A complete hydraulic cylinder jacking unit hooked up in the crane, ready to be installed on a jack up barge. The following image, number 1, is showing us holding pins disengaged. 2 and 2A, are showing us the working pins are engaged. These pins move the hull either up or down whilst skidding through the holding pins frame. The next slide will show us a short animation, how all the cylinders are jacking the hull up and stop while a leg's cylinder's stroke needs to be recycled. Six of these 30 cm diameter cylinder rods are moving the work pins at each leg. Every time a leg has reached the end of the cylinder strokes, the working pins must be recycled to the fully retracted position. All the other legs stop automatically and have to wait till this cycle is completed. Once the recycle is completed, the other legs automatically continue jacking after reactivating the particular recycled leg again. This event is repeating every time another leg is at the end of its stroke. Back on the bespoken earlier. Jacking with hydraulic cylinders and hydraulic working pins. This method of jacking was modified and is still very popular. The most modern jack-up barges for offshore renewables and construction works have this system in use, it is cheaper and less maintenance. The next animation makes this visible, how this is done nowadays.
Pneumatic Type Jacking System Delong D66 jobs are mainly used in low depth of water. These are the best solution when it is necessary to lift heavy loads quickly and efficiently. Jack up platforms Delong D66 use a mix of mechanical and elastomer pneumatic jacks. Jacking systems are made of two main parts having the shape of two rings lying one upon the other. Between those two rings are set pneumatic cylinders for simple action lifting and two others for attraction and double action lifting. The inside of each ring is equipped with rubber inflatable jacks, gripper tubes. The diameter of the pneumatic grippers is similar to that of the piles along which they are expected to move. Once they are pressurized they energetically press against the piles. Jacking System Characteristics for Jack Up Barge in order to obtain a strong and reliable squeeze, jacking system for platforms to long D66 is composed of two elements. A gripper tube, air jack, which is an inflatable Doric cushion in rubber and a gripper slug which is a ring in rubber. The nest slide is showing us an image of the pneumatic gripper type jacking system. This image shows us the pneumatic gripper surrounding a leg. On the left hand side. 1. The inflated cushion and 2. The gripper slug ring which is gripping the leg. On the right hand side, we see the same system but here it is in the disengaged mode. Catch a jacking system. Using almost a similar lifting sequence as the gusto system with pins. The solid rectangular section legs by inserting a horizontal yoke or catcher in a castellated rack protruding from opposite sides of the leg. See the pictures below, the working rack with the yokes and hydraulic cylinders. On the next slide the solid rectangular section legs with castellated racks. Rack and Pinion Jacking Systems These are probably the most common systems used at jack-up rigs. Most of these jacking systems are equipped with six gearboxes and motors on a single cord. Most rigs have three legs, others have four legs and some even have more legs. The jacking systems vary it from hydraulic, electric to full electric, electronic. Basically these systems can be divided into two subgroups. 1. The older conventional types with the heavier and stronger leg bracings without support of rack chocks. 2. The newer generation with rack phase difference, RPD, sensitive legs, lighter legs bracings and with rack fixation system as support during rig moves and operational mode. The next slide will show us some of the jacking systems. Marathon Latour 82C Design Leton, Vicksburg, Mississippi, USA. The design has three square legs instead of the most common triangular. It is a very strong conventional jacking system without track chocks. The control console shown at the picture. In the middle of the control panel, you see the th This picture is showing us a couple of the robust Marathon, Latourne, 82C design. Electrical jacking motors and gearbox transmission wheel. The cords are jacked inside the jacking houses, the rack teeth are located on the outer sides of the cords as you will see on the next picture.
variable speed rack and pinion jacking system. This is a much more modern system as the Litoan we've shown at the other slides. The system is RPD sensitive, the legs are more vulnerable at the bracings and has a rack fixation system to transfer the load from the pinions to the hull. Jacking Units Each jacking unit consists of a special design seven teeth pinion driven by an electric motor through an input and planetary gearbox. In general four to eight jacking units engage with the rack of the jack up leg. The jacking units can be mounted in a floating frame or can be mounted directly into the fixed jacking structure depending on the jack up design. Variable speed drive. The electric motors of the rack and pinion systems are driven by individual variable speed drives, VSDs. This arrangement allows for stepless speed control between zero and maximum speed. The system automatically distributes the loads equally over the drive units and retaking can be performed automatically by the VSD control. Jacking Velocities Maximum jacking velocities vary from 0.3 meters per minute to 1.2 meters slash minute for platform handling. For leg handling, the speed can be increased by typically 50%. This picture shows us a complete jacking motor and gearbox of the VSD jacking system. On the left hand side. The pinion with seven teeth. The electric motor with fail safe brake. And on the right hand side the three stage planetary gearbox with three stage spare gear. The Siemens Central Control Desk, CCD, for the VSD jacking system. Compared to the conventional jacking control panels this is a computer and programmable logic controller, PLC, state of the art piece of work. Two screens connected to the computer can pop up anything you want to know regarding the status of the jacking system. A set of four levers to jack the legs, either individually or all simultaneous. An inclination meter, water level or degrees, alarm reset accept and rest buttons. Buttons to set the operations mode and a button for high speed jacking. The triangular legs of the MSC Gusto. Jacking system. Teeth on each side of a cord which are controlled. By the jacking units, three on each side of the cords. The MSC Gusto Leg Fixation System, also called Rack Chock. Each of the cords is equipped with one of these. The fixation systems must be engaged to the cords to transfer the loads on the pinions to the rack chock. So that the hull is directly connected to the cords. The following video will show us how the rack chocks are manually engaged.
ABB's Jacking Control System, JCS, is an advanced VFD control system, which consists of variable speed drives and controls. The key advantages of a VFD-driven jacking system include controlled startup operations and accurate and precise speed control, resulting in improved efficiency. It optimizes the power consumption under various working conditions, and enhances operational and system reliability. ABB's jacking system is fully integrated with the electric power and automation systems on the high-performance 800 XR automation platform. Powerful inter-systems connectivity and advanced reporting functionality allow operation in a smarter, safer and more efficient way. ABB Jacking Control System ABB's jacking control system is based on advanced 800 XA control platform, which provides the operators with the information needed for jacking control and system maintenance. Jacking control system images we will see on the next slide. Pacific Hawker Offshore Installation Slash Maintenance Slash Repair Vessel at the Picture The six-leg jack up Pacific Hawker is equipped with the ABB JCS jacking system. Dimensions, 161.3 meters dot length and 49.03 meters. Wide. Gross tonnage, 24,568 ton. Baker Marine BMP LJ800 Jacking System Jacking speed 1 foot per minute, driven by only 4 motors per cord. Below the pictures of the control panel and a jacking unit with the 4 motors and gearboxes. Latour and slant leg jacking system. Basically the jacking system operates the same as the Latour and jacking system described in the other slides. The main difference here is that it possible to slant each particular leg into an angle to the seabed. Some pictures of the slant leg jacking system, showing the slant system. On both pictures you see the slant system angle rack and pinions which can slant the legs and jacking system into an angle to the seabed. The end of the chapter Jacking Systems Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass, Worldwide Online, and On-Site Training Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay in touch and watch new videos for free.